Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Thuringian Helles. So uh, this is from a, a brewery that uh, feels uh, really interesting to me and gives a very decent impression when I look at their website and read the history about it when I did my research and so on. Uh, it's from the um, Altenburger uh, Brauerei located in uh, Thuringia or uh, Thüringen as uh, the name is of the uh, state in German. I think it sounds better the name in, in German Thüringen comparing to Thuringia. Anyway, uh, it's from the Altenburger Brauerei which uh, now it actually is owned by Laikheim Brauerei in Altenkornstadt in uh, northern Bavaria. Uh, Oberfranken and uh, I'm reviewing a beer before from uh, Laekheim uh, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Uh, the um, Starting with the bottle uh, I think the the label is to be honest quite boring with the uh, the color choice and uh, that there is not so much that happens on this bottle to be honest, uh, I think it could have been maybe done in a more uh, interesting way, but still, of course, classical. Um, I've never been a fan of the color silver. I think it looks quite boring. I associate it to cars. I think it's the most uh, boring color on the car. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to try it, and also you see it has the Bügelverschlossung here, just like the Leikheim Bears is having Leikheim who owns the Altenburger Brewery and the uh, Altenburger brand. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to find out if Altenburger just is a brand nowadays or if it's still a brewery, um, which is uh, uh, either it's a brewing under the like I'm name, um, but let's find that out. Also, you can see the uh, brewery's name is here printed on the on the bottle, which of course is also something that improves the whole impression to me. That um, including with the bugle for schlossing is two good things in my opinion. So they uh, order their own bottles made especially for this brewery, Altenburger Braukunst seit 1871. Altenburger Hell, Mildes Lagerbier, Altenburger Braukunst seit 1871, World Bear Awards, World's Best Style Winner. Uh, of course, that's promising. Erelessens Malz, Milder Hopfen, Helle Leidenschaft, Altenburger, kommt echt gut. Lagerbier, Zutaten, Wasser, Gersten, Malz, Hopfen, gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot, Altenburger Brauerei, äh, Deutschland. 4.9 ABV, which is typical for uh, a bear of this style. Show you the cap here also, of course, with the logo of the Altenburger Brauerei. I do have another bear from this brewery, which I'm going to review in the future, and I'm going to show you the, the uh, look of that lab um, that bottle too, of course, as I always used to do. is their Premium Pils, which looks like this. Looks exactly, exactly like the Helles, uh, with the difference that it's red instead of blue and uh, it's their premium pills so it's the, the two most common bear styles probably in germany those two uh, at least among pale lagers and pale lagers so it's of course the most popular uh, bear style uh, in the world uh, over to some history about this brewery the uh, Altenburger brewery is a historic beer brewery which was founded in 1871 and is based in the East Thuringian city of Altenburg. It belongs to the private brewery Leikheim in Altenkornstadt, Upper Franconia and since 2016 Andreas, Bastian and Anna Leikheim have been shareholders of the company. Today's Altenburger brewery is located at Brauereistrasse uh, 20 in um, Kauerndorf district. The exact beginnings of the brewing tradition in Altenburger land cannot be traced. However, in 1256, a spell of mile was raised around the city to uh, promote local beers. In total, there were 59 breweries in the Altenburger land 
at the time of the Duchy of Saxony Altenburg. Uh, after the first Kommunbau house was bu built in Altenburg in uh, 1830, the first brewery was founded in 1871 at the Große Teich. The brewery in Kaulendorf was built as the second brewery in the city in 1872. On July 31, 1871, seven citizens of Altenburg had the idea of founding a stock brewery. The property of the Kaulendorf Manor was acquired by the landlord Hermann Herold, 1828-1885 was the, the years he lived uh, between. Brewing began here in July 1873, initially with brown beer. The Ultyp Hell warehouse followed in October of the same year. Due to the increased sales, new beer pans were installed just two years later. This covered annual production of up to 130,000 hectoliters, which had already been achieved in 1896. In August 1883, the 500,000 uh, hectoliters of beer was sold. In 1898, the brewery received the gold medal and the honorary of award uh, of the city of Merane in the association meeting of uh, the Saxony Hospitality Association. In, 1900, in 1901, two other types of beer emerged, namely Bavarian and Bohemian beer. The brewing capacity was expanded in 1905 when bottled beer was also supplied to private customers. This also resulted in the expansion of the company. In 1912 to 1913, the new brew house was built according to the technical concept of the engineer Theodor Gantzenmüller from Weihenstefan, which was one of the most modern brew houses in Europe and had a capacity of 230,000 hectoliters. Uh, in the course of um, hyperinflation, the Altenburger brewery had to merge in 1921 with the Gera Brewing Association and then with the Leipzig brewery to Reudnitz Riebeck and company AG to, uh, due to economic difficulties. During the Second World War emissions decreased to 30,000 hectoliters that year by 1949. A year earlier the brewery was a VEB and uh, 1968 connected to the beverage combined Leipzig. Until 1990, 300 30,000 hectoliters of beer and non-alcoholic beverages were produced annually. In the same year, a cooperation agreement was concluded with the Kulmbacher Brewery. Uh, after the reunification, the Altenburger Brewery lost a lot of sales. The East German beer market was overstatued with West Beer brands, so the production dropped to almost 10,000 hectoliters. The Leikheim brewery from Altenkuhnstadt in Upper Franconia then bought the brewery. The brewery aimed for careful modernization without losing the traditional core and its regional connection and thus increased sales. Due to increased sales, new fermentation tanks were purchased in 2003 to replace the fermentation cellar. In 2014, the German Advertising Council criticized the brewery's poster campaign as being discriminatory against women. The brewery only partially dispensed with poster advertising so that the advertising council made a complaint. Uh, in January 2017, the brewery presented itself in a completely re revised brand identity which shows the connection to the region on, and the east of Germany and makes the beer look more modern and fresh. Nevertheless, the Altenburger brewery sticks to traditional beer, and the beer is still available in resaleable flip-top bottles, but no longer made of ceramic, but for the sake of environment made of plastic. The uh, advertising, which was primarily played in the regions of Leipzig, Chemnitz, Dresden and Altenburg, is still humorous and youthful, but refrains from allusions as in the past. With these investments, the company is also trying to further strengthen the Altenburg region as um, has already been the case with numerous support from regional associations. The managing director Bastian Leikheim is a member of the German national team 
2019 and the World Bear Sommelier Championship in Rimini. Um, and some more text of this um, about this brewery. Uh, today's use of the brewery. The brewery received the architecture of its building complex, which is why it is now a listed building. The high historic buildings are built in the industrial style of historicism, and the brew house has influences from the Art Nouveau and Neo Baroque. For this reason, the brewery also uses the premises for the visitors in addition to the production and the bottling of various types of beer. The brewery and the historic five-unit brewing plant can also be visited while production is ongoing. In addition, the brewery's premises are used for events and concerts. Among other things, nine clubs are based on the brewery site, and some couples have already been married. The Altenburger Brauerei GmbH maintains a museum on the, his, um, on the history of beer and the regional art of brewing with their meaning, as well as the raw materials and the production of the beer. Uh, as you understand, and as you can hear, quite interesting uh, classic East German brewery this from uh, Thüringen, uh, Altenburg in Thüringen, Altenburg or Hell. Gonna be interesting to try this one, always uh, nice with a high quality Hell um, or Helles, as it also can be called. Helbe Sale Hopfen. Yeah, I think this is gonna be high quality. Definitely feels like it. Uh, because all the beers that I've been um, having this far from Germany has been great. Uh, I think it's time to plop up this bottle, which is always fun. So let's do it. Got a nice plop there, and let's open, pour it up. There we have it, oops. Looks real nice, doesn't it? Let's see if there's something left. Yeah, I think we can get that out too. There we go. That's the way it should look, in my opinion. There we have the um, Altenburg head. All the small bubbles rises up. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show it closer to you. You see the white compact foam you had, two finger white foam head, which looks really nice in my opinion. Have a look at this. Really nice. Got this uh, really um, typical pale, bright yellow reese to see through color. Quite a golden color, I would say. Um, so it really looks nice in my opinion, and the white compact head, always important to build up, also shows high quality of course. Uh, easy to, uh, as I used to mention, to keep the white um, uh, foam head during uh, your drink, because it keeps the taste in, in the glass, and uh, yeah, that it maintains the right way, so very important. Give it one closer look to you. Just because it is so beautiful. See all the bubbles right there, right? Let's dig into the aroma. Of course, real fresh. Really, really nice. Um, the um, combination is, is perfect, just the way you could expect. Um, with the um, malts, hops, really, really nice hells. This easy to feel that it's a high quality hells. Looks really beautiful, and also look that the white foam head still is is quite big, which of course is a very, very good sign. Uh, not only because it's gonna keep the taste in the in the beer all the way through, but 
but it's also yeah it's a good sign of, of high quality so uh, this far really high expectations just the way I thought of this uh, Altenburg Hell. let's taste it really gonna be interesting Prost Of course, of course, great. Um, really, something that you um, that makes you want to have more. Uh, really, really good hell as this. Um, as it says here, uh, mildest lager beer, and um, yeah, that's what it is. Great, great balance, um, and it's uh, it's a really typical hell as. This uh, very very nice balance between uh, maltiness and uh, and the hops is makes it a really really nice pale lager hellas. Um, yeah, just just really pleasant. Um, you know what an hellas is, and this is a really really good example of the style. So. Uh, Big thumbs up, of course, to Altenburger Brauerei um, in uh, Altenburg, Thüringen, for their um, Helles. It's a nice beer. You see it right there, Altenburger Hell. It's great. Um, <clears throat> always right time for Helles of this. High quality, in my opinion. Yeah, really great, as I said. So nice. Um, yep, I think that's it for now. Hope you continue to follow my channel, that you like my beer reviews. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, always interesting to hear from you. And um, of course, I also enjoy to do these reviews very much. So, um, hope I see you again in the next peer review.